My name is Uba Mike, and I teach human anatomy and physiology in three nursing colleges. So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through 30 multiple choice questions that will teach you about your lungs. So make sure you watch this video to the very end. And this video is not just for medical students, it's not just for nursing students, it's for anyone that has lungs and want to get basic knowledge of the structure and function of the lungs. Let's move to the very first question. How many lungs do humans have? Is it one, two, three, or four? The correct answer is two. So humans have two lungs. We have the right lung and a left lung. The next question is, where are the lungs located? Where are these two lungs located? We have thoracic cavity, abdominal cavity, diaphragm, or mediastinum. Where do you have these two lungs? The correct answer is A, thoracic cavity. So thoracic cavity is just a technical word for chest cavity. So the thoracic cavity is a space that is located right inside the chest. And you have the right lung at the right side of the thoracic cavity. And you have the left lung at the left side of the thoracic cavity. Next question. What is the function of the lungs? We have exchange of gases with the atmosphere, exchange of gases with blood, production of oxygen, production of carbon dioxide. So what is the primary function of the lung? The correct answer is B, exchange of gases with blood. So the lungs are the ones that give oxygen to blood and they receive carbon dioxide from blood. So that is an exchange. Number four, which lung is bigger? Is it the right lung or the left lung? The correct answer is A, right lung. So the right lung is bigger, it is wider and even heavier than the left lung. Number five, can you survive with one lung? Can you survive with one lung? A, yes. B, no. So the correct answer is yes. You can actually survive with one lung. So just like the kidneys, you can survive with one lung. Number six. Which of these tubes conveys air directly in and out of the lungs? We have larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchial. The correct answer is C, bronchus. So the bronchi are the tubes that carries air from the that receives air from the trachea into the lungs and also receives air from the lungs into the trachea. Number seven, the following tubes are inside the lungs, except we have primary bronchus, secondary bronchus, tertiary bronchus, bronchial. The correct answer is A, primary bronchus. Number eight, the apex of the heart fits into the cardiac notch found in, is it right lung or left lung? The correct answer is B, left lung. So the left lung has a space known as cardiac notch, and this is where the apex of the heart fits in. Number nine, what is the average weight of both lungs? We have 500 grams, 800 grams, 1,000 grams, 1,300 grams. What is the average weight of the lungs? The correct answer is D, 1,300 grams or 1.3 kilograms. So the lungs contribute 1.3 kilograms to total body weight. What that means is that if you weigh 60 kilograms, for example, and your lungs are taken away from your body, what you have left will be 58.7 kilograms. Number 10, what are the functional units of the lungs? Bronchioles, alveoli, pulmonary capillaries, Purkinje fibers. The correct answer is B, alveoli. So alveoli are the functional units of the lungs. The alveoli are the ones that give oxygen to blood and receive carbon dioxide from blood. Number 11, the following are surfaces of the lungs except we have mediastinal surface, gastric surface, diaphragmatic surface, and coastal surface. So the correct answer is B, gastric surface. So there's no gastric surface in the lungs. So gastric is more related to the stomach. 
So body lumps have mediastinal surface, diaphragmatic surface, and coastal surface. Number 12, the following are borders of the lungs except anterior border, posterior border, superior border, inferior border. So the correct answer is C, superior border. So the lungs have anterior border, posterior border, and inferior border. But there's no superior border. The superior border is supposed to be the apex. Number 13, the coastal surface of the lungs is closer to the heart, the ribs, the thoracic vertebrae, the clavicle. So the correct answer is B, the ribs. So coastal refers to ribs. So anything that is closer to the ribs is coastal. For example, the muscles that are between the ribs are called intercostal muscles. So the coastal surface is closer to the ribs. Number 14, the most inferior surface of the lungs is diaphragmatic surface, coastal surface, medial surface, lateral surface. The correct answer is A, diaphragmatic surface. So the diaphragmatic surface is the most inferior surface of the lung. The diaphragm is located below the lung. So the surface that faces the diaphragm is the diaphragmatic surface. Number 15, what part of the lungs is related to the clavicle? We have apex, base, medial surface, lateral surface. The correct answer is A, so the apex of the lungs is the closest part to the clavicle. Number 16. What is the average length of each lung? 5 cm, 10 cm, 20 cm, 25 cm. The correct answer is D, 25 cm. So the length of each lung is about 24 to 27 cm. Number 17. What is the artery that supplies blood to the lung tissues? pulmonary artery, coronary artery, bronchial artery, tracheal artery. So which of these arteries supplies oxygen and nutrients to the lung tissues? The correct answer is C, bronchial artery. So oxygen and nutrients get to the tissues of the lung, the cells and tissues of the lungs through the bronchial artery. Number 18. What artery supplies blood to the lungs for gas exchange? Pulmonary artery, bronchial artery, coronary artery, hepatic artery. So the correct answer is A, pulmonary artery. So the pulmonary artery supplies blood to the lungs for gas exchange, while the bronchial artery supplies oxygen and nutrients to the lung tissues. Number 19. The membrane that covers the lungs is called pericardium, pleura, peritoneum, mediastinum. The correct answer is B, pleura. So the pleura membrane is a membrane that covers the lungs. Number 20, an alveolus is normally surrounded by bronchioles, bronchi, pulmonary capillaries, bronchial capillaries. The correct answer is C, pulmonary capillaries. So pulmonary capillaries are the tiny vessels that wrap around the alveoli and they are responsible for the exchange of gases. 21. What structures in the lungs are responsible for gas exchange? Terminal bronchioles, alveoli, clara cells, pulmonary cells. The correct answer is B, alveoli. So alveoli are the functional units of the lungs and they're responsible for gas exchange with the pulmonary capillaries. 22. Which of the following is not a type of lung disease? COPD, asthma, hypertension, pneumonia. So the correct answer is C, hypertension. So hypertension is not a lung disease, it's a cardiovascular disease. 23. Gas exchange in the lungs takes place by respiration, diffusion, ventilation, perfusion.
The correct answer is B, diffusion. So diffusion is simply the movement of gases from regions of higher concentration to regions of lower concentration. So during gas exchange, oxygen will move from the alveoli where it is more concentrated to the pulmonary capillaries where it is less concentrated. While carbon dioxide will move from the pulmonary capillaries where it is less concentrated, where it is more concentrated to the alveoli where it is more concentrated. So that is diffusion taking place. 24. Which of the following can cause lung damage? Radiation, smoking, air pollution, all of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. So all these things can cause lung damage. Radiation can cause lung damage. Smoking can cause lung damage. Air pollution can cause lung damage. So the correct answer is all of the above. Number 25. Inflammation of the airways is termed asthma, emphysema, bronchitis, pneumonia. The correct answer is C, bronchitis. So bronchitis is simply the inflammation, the swelling of the airways. So asthma is narrowing of the airways. Emphysema is when you have fluid in your lung tissues, while pneumonia is simply infection of the lungs. 26. Which, of, which is not a symptom of lung disease? Shortness of breath, chest pain, fatigue, none of the above. So the correct answer is D, none of the above. So shortness of breath is a symptom of lung disease. Chest pain is a symptom of lung disease. Fatigue is a symptom of lung disease. But the question says which of them is not. So the correct answer is none of the above. 27. The primary muscle of breathing is the diaphragm, external intercostal, internal intercostal, pectoralis major. So which of them is the, is the primary muscle of breathing? The correct answer is A, diaphragm. So the diaphragm is the primary muscle of breathing. 28. Movement of air into the lungs is termed respiration, inspiration, exhalation, aspiration. The correct answer is B, inspiration. So inspiration is also called breathing in or inhalation, and it simply refers to the movement of air into the lungs. 29. Entry of foreign objects into the lungs is called inhalation, inspiration, exhalation, aspiration. So the correct answer is D, aspiration. So aspiration simply means the entry of foreign substances apart from air into the lungs. And this commonly uh, happens when the epiglottis fails to close the larynx properly. Number 30, difficulty in breathing is termed A, dyspnea, B, asthma, C, hypoxia, D, emphysema. So the correct answer is A, dyspnea. So dyspnea is simply difficult in breathing or breathlessness or even labored breathing. So I hope you, you learned something from this video. And if you need more questions on the lungs, if you need up to 100 multiple choice questions on the lung alone, just reach me through the description page of this video. So there's a link through which you can chat with me in the description page of this video. So thank you so much. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of these services. Thank you.